and today i've got a very very specific detailed video for you which will help you to understand the tips and tricks and strategies about handling your crash properly so that you what are the main reasons for the failure of a restaurant business cash handling if you are not handling your cash properly your restaurant a will be on a path to failure i'm sorry to use this use this very very shocking statement at the end at the start of this video but this is the truth hi my name is gopal kamath i am a restauranter and the founder of restaurant launch formula where we teach you how to start and run a profitable successful restaurant for your own and today i have got a very very specific detailed video for you which will help you to understand the tips and tricks and strategies about handling your crash properly so that you make massive profits you don't let your uh, your river of cash run dry in a restaurant so that so that you are able to pay the vendors on time you are able to pay your rent on time you are able to pay the salaries the electricity bill all the overheads on time so with that said let's take the first topic of discussion about the strategies about how to handle the cash efficiently the first one is all about working capital if you have not infused working capital in your restaurant from the start it is very hard for your restaurant to sustain without a working capital the reason is you are not going to do profits from day one it is going to take a little bit of time a little bit of traction at least two months three months four months six months so to get the optimum level of sale from your peripheral market and that is one of the reasons why you have to at least take care of six months of overheads as working capital which you infuse in your existing restaurant and so that the restaurant cash management remains fluid you can pay everything on time the second is all about purchasing credit make sure that you take maximum advantage of the credit which is given to you by your suppliers by your vendors usually it is one bill apart or a month or so depending on what your arrangement is with the vendors but make sure you take an advantage of that because that is money which you can use to keep your system and to keep your restaurant your cash register and your cash uh fluid the third one is all about allocating expenses plan your expenses well in advance if you have a month if you have a month where you know that you are going to get this fixed advantage uh, expenses the every day's uh, cash sale has to be distributed according to the importance given to the expenses if you don't do this at the end of the month you will have no money to pay the overheads the fourth one is prioritize the capex capital expenditure which we which a business does is always money which is taken from the profit and infused into the business so make sure you are very very sensitive to capex what i mean by capex is once a restaurant is done all the expenses all the capital expenditure is done to create a restaurant then whatever other capital expenditure is done you have to be very focused because that is money which is actually your profit which you are pumping in again into the system and you have to prioritize whether it is necessary or no only if it is necessary you should put in otherwise you should not go for it the fifth one is about investing in growth keep on investing in activities which will help you to get more cash from your customers help you to get more cash from your systems always keep on promoting your restaurant keep on marketing your restaurant because it is not an expense marketing is an investment always keep this in mind a lot of people think that marketing is an expense we cannot afford it if you put 10 rupees and if you are getting 100 rupees how many how much money will you put you will put as much as you have in your wallet the same way if you once you start if you regularly keep on marketing you will automatically start getting more customers and that will give you more cash to uh, handle and the last one is pay yourself first whenever when when your cash register and when your cash book is able to support your profits you have to make sure that you pay yourself first because you as an owner you as a operator you as an owner are taking the biggest risk of borrowing the money putting in your investment running the whole show so i believe you should be paid first and only after that the you as an owner can really live a life of your expectations
I hope you guys loved the video and I'm sure this video and the information is going to help you to open a successful restaurant of your own. Now, if you want to go more deeper and have an in-depth understanding about the restaurant business, I suggest you join my 5 days WhatsApp class. The link is in the description section under this video. And in this 5 days WhatsApp class, I take you step by step to the foundational pillars of restaurant business and the food business. What should be your concept? What should be your location? What should be your thinking like a restaurant, restauranters, uh, like our restaurant owner thinks? And how should you match it with the right type of target clientele? This, these are the core pillars on which the foundation of your successful restaurant holds. So if you really want to take it to a deeper level and have a better understanding about the restaurant business, go to the link in the description section and sign up for my 5-day WhatsApp class. There is a small fee which I charge so that you guys are serious and you can take it and implement it to open a successful restaurant of your own. So see you in the 5-day WhatsApp class. Thank you so much for seeing the video up till now and see you in my next video. Thank you so much. This is Gopal Kamal signing off. Bye-bye. Love from me. Bye.